Welcome back to This Is Living, you guys. I have something really cool to show you, something you guys have been asking for for a few months now, and it is finally here. I have made the last Swell t-shirts. We got them in black, we got them in white, and we got them in gray. So you guys can click the link right here in the bio of this video, corothan.com, go get some, and yeah, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you are enjoying the videos. Aloha. So, we're headed up to the Outer Banks, and I guess it's about a four hour drive from here. Whoops. Supposedly, what people are saying right now, like the locals, the swell forecasters, and everything like that, is that this is gonna be like the craziest day and a half of Outer Banks, like ever. Which, that, there's a lot of hype right now, but I've never been up there and I've seen really good footage of the wave, and if it is good, it looks like a tiny little section of Namibia, that wave in Africa that's like three miles long. It looks insane, and I've always wanted to go there, and this is finally my chance to go, and I hope it's really good. We're gonna just get our stuff ready, get packed, and then head up there. And right now, it's really funky. I've never been there, but I've only heard stuff. When it gets this big, the roads actually wash over, so the road right now is closed, and they have to wait till low tide to open it up. So we're gonna get up there, wait for low tide, and hopefully they open the road up because it's just covered in sand and waves right now, and you can't even get into the Outer Banks. I guess it's the Outer Banks is like this tiny little stretch of like islands off the coast of North Carolina. So I'm actually super curious to see what it looks like up there. And hopefully we get in because I've heard of stories of people not being able to even get in and surf the Outer Banks because the waves are too big. So hopefully we make it in and everything goes according to plan and we get really, really barreled and have a amazing trip. So I'm gonna pack up now. I got all my four apartments here. Oops. And yeah, let's get it. I'm super excited. Look at this rental. Who's ready for Outer Banks? I've had a lot of coffee this morning. I'm really psyched. <laughs> God, I went from freezing to just sweating. We're out of here. Peace out, Wilmington. Look at this. Oh yeah. This is an update on the road that we're driving into. That could be us. That's a Hummer. <laughs> Ready for this road trip. Oh. Look at this tractor. This very very North Carolina of America. Look at that thing! Yeah! What is that thing even for? Just towing? <laughs> oh my god. It's 18 shot of Uh, I'm not sure that. That thing just went straight into the. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's straight in the. The soybean field. We're somewhere around the way. Yeah, all North Carolina? Oh, yeah, this is all North Carolina. Alright, son. We're probably right around this park. And what we gotta do is get up to this park and drive down this little pinnacle of land and get to the Outer Banks, OBX, where the famous TV show's from. Go get really barreled. But also, in serious news, I guess the road is confirmed to be closed until tomorrow. And tomorrow is like the first day of good waves. It's only tomorrow and the next day that the waves are gonna be good. So I guess we're gonna have to stay in the main town, whatever the name that is, and then get a hotel and hopefully get a boat somewhere to the Outer Banks to surf. But if not, we're gonna have to surf near the main town, which there's still good waves, but hopefully we can make it to the really good waves. But we'll see. Stay tuned to find out on the next episode of This Lip. Kitty Hawk? No. 
So where do, where do you see Kitty Hawk on the map? Right there. So we are... I can't see. Oh, I can find it. Oh yeah, we're Nags Head. We're right here. Okay, Whoa, so the boat! Right. Why don't we go over here and the then catch a boat The only way you can across. do is a ferry, but the ferries are closed. What if we rented like a fishing boat and just threw our stuff on it? What if we got a ton of fuel and went here? Remember that scene from Art of Flight? <laughs> Like 15 feet. <laughs> we are right. I brought 510 <laughs> and two 59s. Three 59s. All epoxy. So I'm not from here, nor do I even know exactly where we are or where we're trying to get to, but I have formulated a plan, and that plan is since we can't get down there right now, let's go rent one of these hotels, one of the nicer ones get all of our stuff settled, and then go out here and surf because the, whatever wave this is looks really fun right now. You could do some huge turns and possibly get a little barrel at one of these peaks for sure. So, maybe that's what we should do, huh? I think there's better sandbars than this. <sighs> like whatever, in, Like no somewhere plan. around here. Like that video I sent you, or I showed you, yeah. of that barrel was like right down there. We have a room. We have developed a game plan. We just got a room for the night here. We're gonna, in the morning, we're gonna hop on a sport fishing boat from someone's friend. We're gonna get dropped off at some harbor down there. Someone's gonna pick us up in a bus and then we're gonna go surf all day. And then from there, I have no idea what we're gonna do. We're, our, this truck is gonna be parked somewhere and we're just gonna figure out the rest of the trip from there, so. This is going to be a very, very interesting adventure. I hope you guys like it. But we still have time to go for a quick surf uh, at this pier right here, so it should be fun. See y'all out there. Okay, are you gonna walk up the beach? I know, Woo! we got stuck here. <laughs> right on yeah, you guys have a good evening. Stoked to have you on the East Coast. Thank first you. First time ever, huh? Yeah, first. This this trip was actually the first time I've ever surfed on the East Coast. Right on. It's been fun. Go all the way out. I know he was just talking about it, inside. but I don't think I'm gonna go out there. No. It looks like a nightmare. It looks like a nightmare. I kind of yeah. want to just surf like these inside <laughs> fun-looking ones. That looks like a nightmare too. Watch out. <laughs> Something to do though. I'm fine. See you guys. See ya. Yeah. Can I get a picture? Go out? Of course. nice to jump in the water and now we just have to hope that tomorrow goes smoothly because if it doesn't we're gonna be stuck out here serving this and not firing waves down the beach it'll work out it'll all be good I guarantee it everything always works out for the better so just gotta go with the flow man and we will see you in the morning peace out outer banks yeah. Boat, so we are going to make it there. What happened from here? I want to get dropped off. I have no idea. But. I didn't. Nothing like some good old 7-Eleven coffee at 5 a.m. <laughs> All right, James. 
Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. That was a very so impressive perfect. part drop. Yeah, that was the coolest part. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> We've made it to the Outer Banks. All right, it's, just, it's only like a 15 mile walk. We'll be there. I got wheels on my board bag. This can take you, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I haven't known what we're doing this whole time. Just long for the ride, nothing wrong with that. I'm just, yeah. Yes, sir. Just gonna hopefully get barreled. Now we need another ride in a vehicle. That was so sick. See, I can throw it way back in the dock. There's a trash can right here. You guys want to get rid of it? What up, Billy? What's up, boys? How you doing? Good, how are you guys? Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. Uh, like I said, we're not picky too, man. You take us wherever you can and we're good <laughs> yeah. there. You guys, you know, I was thinking what you could probably do is just... Yeah. Where's your family coming from? Are they here already? Yeah, they're coming from actually. What's up, man? I'm feeling curious. Kelly, nice to meet you. What's up, Mason? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, bacon, egg, biscuit. Oh, you're in Rhode Island. A little bit dry. But I am hungry. It's in 100 feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? Oh my god. It's literally 30 feet out there. Good Holy god. 100 foot waves. <laughs> Thank god I brought my 5'9 epoxies. <laughs> Dude. Where's it looks like phantom. Oh my. Dude, there's going to be the odd psycho wave out here right now. I Look don't even want to be out there. Dude, those are 30, 40 foot away. the dunes with like tractors yeah it's expensive it takes a lot of tax money lighthouse it's still like a hundred feet You're here for as big as it gets, pretty much. I'm ready to get barreled. Thank you so much. <laughs> 40 foot waves. It's like 100 feet out there. Pretty big. I didn't know. Dude, I didn't know you were with them. I forgot. Um, yeah, it's bad. This morning peaked at like 16 at 18. I just That's saw like another a full 18. Hawaii swell right there. It's huge. I'm grab my board It's starting right. to drop, so. So Mason and Brett just went to go pick us up a car because that was a big problem we were having. And we sat down at this coffee shop and there's this store right here. Right here, Hattie. Hattie built. Hattie, Hattie built. <laughs> and he rents cars. And he's like, right here, I have a car for you to rent, a Jeep truck. And we're like, it's the most perfect thing ever. <laughs> so now we can start our journey and go surf comfortably. Everything just falls into place when you need it to, you know? I just called Mason and Brett, they're coming back right now. They're about to drive 30 minutes that way and 30 minutes back to go get a car that was like, maybe we can use. And we got this thing right here. Amazing. <laughs> this is unbelievable. See, sometimes when you just go with the flow, things will work out. Yeah, I just gotta give a huge shout out 
to Hattieville. If you guys are in the Outer Banks, come check them out. It's amazing. Jeff just saved our entire trip just now. <laughs> it's just falling in place. I think you need this thing. Yeah. Success. <laughs> just kidding. People live like this. Look at the houses over there, Doug. Just walk on along. Gotta have boots around here. God damn, that there is go. deep. They're like mesh. <laughs> Dude. So they're waterproof. Yeah, there's the mosquitoes are bad down here. Just if you jump from there, you'll land. I've never seen more mosquitoes in my entire life. We're gonna go surf some wave literally in the middle of the beach down off that way but we came down here to get ready because the mosquitoes were literally so awful down there that I couldn't take it so we drove to where it's a little bit windier and they're having trouble flying to get ready and we're gonna drive back walk across all that probably surf all day so it'll be pretty eventful I will I would say Experience, that's for sure. Oh my god. Wow. That was <laughs> All right. Wish us luck. It looks giant. Is this a corner? gnarly. The water is moving so fast. It's like trying to surf an outer reef in Hawaii on a 510. The current, as soon as I made it out, the current just sucked me straight out to sea. I was just gone. I think we have to wait for it to drop a little bit. It's so gnarly. It's giant out there. Huge.
attacked by mosquitoes to get on land. Well, I got a vision. And I'm stoked <laughs> that that is over because that was an absolute nightmare out there. But you know what? It was an experience. I'm glad I got to see it like that. And the road's actually not opening till 12 midday tomorrow. So now we gotta find the place to stay. And we're gonna surf tomorrow morning and then head out. Hopefully the road opens or we are screwed. So. Now we gotta figure out where we're gonna stay. That's easy. And the road's gonna open tomorrow, no matter what. So that's what they said yesterday and today. We're, this is honestly kind of best case. We're here, we got a car. Day two, waves dropped. I guess it looks a lot more manageable and it's like non-stop, fun, perfect little barrels. So, we're back out there. Today's gonna be a really good day. It's a beautiful day. The wind is dead. Our butt, our Brett Barley just sent us a video of what this wave's doing right now and it looks like it's absolutely firing, fun, perfect little wedge barrels everywhere. And yeah, this is the last day of swell and we're gonna make the most of it. Another early morning. It's funny, I'm using the same surfboard I used in like 30 foot waves yesterday. For smaller waves. Look at this thing. Look at that mini one. Oh my god. That's all you could ask for. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we got stuck here last night. Somehow I got lucky. Mason had a friend that had a house, let us stay there. And yeah, we're just going with the flow and it seems to be working. Now I'm gonna go get barrel. safe to say that I am completely exhausted. It's been such a fun run of waves here up at the Outer Banks. I mean, we got like the craziest waves I never would have thought I'd ever see on East Coast. The firing little draining waves like this, it was so much fun. 
And it was crazy how our whole trip went. Like when we first got here, first of all, we had to drive like four and a half hours to get here. And then the road was closed. So we had to jump on a boat at 5 a.m. And then we finally got here, basically hitchhiked around. Someone gave us a car. We went out and surfed 20 foot waves. And then the road was still closed so we couldn't get back to our stuff. And luckily someone gave us a house here. And we woke up, surfed some firing waves and all we can do now is hope that the road is open so we can leave. Should open in about an hour or so is what they're saying. But they've been saying that for two days. So I think this could be the end of our Outer Banks adventure. And I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. And if you guys could like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out all the This Is Living merch, it's really appreciated. And yeah, we'll see you somewhere else. Phew.